This tutorial assumes you know the basics of working in Blender. You can quickly make a damaged pillar using a free add-on. You can use the default cube to make a simple pillar. Once you have the pillar modeled, rename the object, indicating it's the low poly version. Apply the transforms. In the UV editing workspace, UV unwrap the pillar. Duplicate the pillar and rename it to High Poly. Hide the Low Poly Pillar and select the High Poly Pillar. You can use the free version of Real Damage for this tutorial. The link is in the description. Once it's downloaded, install it and activate it. Open the Properties panel and select the Real Damage tab. Select the High Poly Pillar and select Add Damage. Reselect the High Poly Pillar and make adjustments to the options. Apply the modifier once you're happy with the damage. Duplicate the low poly pillar and rename it to cage. Scale this cage so it completely covers the high poly pillar. In the Shading Workspace, add an Image Texture node and make a new image. With the Image Texture node selected, change to the Cycles Render Engine. Select the low poly pillar and shift select the high poly pillar. Under the bake panel, change the bake type to normal. Activate selected to active. Activate the cage option and increase the max ray distance to 0 0.1. Then click on Bake. Save the normal map. Add a bump node and connect the image texture node to the height of the bump node and the bump node to the normal of the principled shader. You can also invert the bump node. Using the Node Wrangler add on, apply your material. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video about making a damaged pillar in Blender, 
then you're probably interested in 3D modeling or game dev. So if you're interested in those topics, you may enjoy this video. Have a good day.